background. Industrial revolution in modern history, the process of change from an agrarian and handicraft economy to one dominated by industry and machine manufacturing. The first industrial revolution, it is marked by a transition from hand production methods to machines through the use of steam power and water power. The implementation of new technologies took a long time. So the period which this refers to it is between 1760 and 1820 in Europe and US. Its effects had consequences on textile manufacturing which was first to adopt such changes as well as iron industry, agriculture and mining although it also had societal effects with an ever stronger middle class. The second industrial revolution or known as the technological revolution is the period between 1870 and 1914 it was made possible with the extensive railroad network and the telegraph which allowed for faster transfer of people and ideas. It is also marked by ever more present electricity which allowed for factory ele electrification and the modern production line it is also a period of growth with an increase in productivity however it caused a surge in unemployment since many workers were replaced by machines in factories the third industrial revolution occurred in the late 20th century after the end of the two big wars as a result of a slowdown with the industrialization and technological advancement compared to previous periods. It is also called digital revolution. The global crisis in 1929 was one of the negative economic development, which had appearance in many industrialized countries from the first two revolutions. The production of Z1, electrically driven mechanical calculator was beginning of more advanced digital developments. This continued with the next significant progress in the development of communication technologies. There was extensive use of computer and communication technologies in production process. Machines started to abrogate the need for human power in life. When computers were introduced in third industry, it was disruptive thanks to the addition of an entirely new technology. Now, the future as Ford industry unfolds, computers are connected and communicate with one another to ultimately make decisions without human involvement. A combination of cyber physical systems, the Internet of Things, and the Internet of Systems make for industry possible and the smart factory a reality. As a result of the support of smart machines that keep getting smarter as they get access to more data, the factories will become more efficient and productive and less wasteful. There are four design principles in Ford industry that support companies in identifying which are interconnection, information, transparency, technical assistance, and decentralized decisions. Social Structure The industrial and economy development of the Industrial Revolution brought significant social change. There are three major social classes across the Industrial Revolution using social table for England. First, the upper class. The early upper class included estate owners, factory owners, and rich noble. They had a very fine life with servants, and made to do their housework and preparing them food and tea. They usually lived in the countryside where it was very peaceful, and they could enjoy life at its fullest. Women usually wore elegant dresses and men wore shoes or other fine clothing. Second, the middle class. The middle class was clad when factory managers 
merchants and shipper become wealthy from the huge production from the industries. The new middle class split into the two groups, the upper middle class and the lower middle class. They usually live in the city because they had to work in business. Third, the working class. The working class consisted of laborers that worked in factories, shop, and other business. They were the one that suffered the most out of all three classes. In the coal mines, many women and children died of black lungs, a symptom when you inhale coal dust. They had to work 40 hours a day and they usually live in the crowded houses in a small place. Pre-industrial society Pre-industrial society refers to specific social attributes and forms of political and cultural organization that were prevalent before the advent of the Industrial Revolution. Most people in pre-industrial England live on a subsistence level with little or no savings. Most peasants struggle simply to meet the basic needs of their families. Society typically dependent on peasants for foods and taxes. Characteristic of pre-industrial society Most people live and work in farm. Wealthy nobles control the land. Agricultural method had not changed drastically in centuries. People rarely travel. Inefficient methods were used to plant and harvest crops. Communication between town and cities was slow and infrequent. People supplemented the income by mining their land, working out of their homes. Human nature relationship. First, agricultural revolution. Agriculture began in the early 1700 with an Englishman. By using a house to pull the seed trees, this is the first method that English used in the agricultural sector. Second, more food for people and workers. For workers, more animal power was available to English farmers than to their counterparts elsewhere. For people, by using the cow as a meal and meat for industrial and agricultural production. Three, cotton seeds. Human using the cotton as a crop for every day and export to Britain and demand from US. Four, coal factory. Coal bet burn better than more efficiently than wood, and if you have a lot of coal, the English figure out that they could substitute coal for a wood in the melting of metal, including iron and steel. Five, urbanization. Because of economy, mass migration of people from rural area come to the cities. The rapid growth of city due to industrial demand of workers. And the last one is progression of landscape. The first point is working condition. Job opportunities are expanding by opening more factories to the unemployment. Many of them work at the factories and mills after the revolution. They are free to decide what jobs are best for them. And the second point is urbanization. The small town of Manchester, England grew rapidly and famously to become the quintessential industrial city. It was located close to the Atlantic part of Liverpool and the coal field of Lancashire. The first railroads in the world later connected the textile town to Liverpool. As a result, Manchester quickly became the textile capital of the world. And the third point is public health and life expectancy. In the first half of the 19th century, urban overcrowding, poor diets, poor sanitation is essential. 
medieval of medieval medical remedies or contributed to very poor public health for the majority of English people. Citizens are now free to hire a doctor, go to a hospital or seek their own medical remedies. And the last point is living condition. Working class people had little time or opportunities for recreation Work, workers spend all the lights of day at work and came home with little energy, space or light to play sports or game. By the end of 19th century, cities had become the place with opportunities for sport and entertainment that they are today. Many turned to the poor house set up by the government, by the poor law of 1834. And for houses were designed to the deliberately harsh places to discourage people I am sharing on real life. Government, food aid, families including husband and wife were separated upon entering the grounds. They were confined each day as inmates in a prison and work every day. So the conclusion is... The Industrial Revolution was a time of great imagination and progress. It was a time when the manufacturing of goods moved from small shops and homes to large factories. This shift brought about change in culture as people moved from rural areas to big cities in order to work. If agriculture is the backbone of the economy, industry is the energy. The rapid development of goods industries promote the growth of agriculture, transportation, and communication. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution, the whole way human beings were changed and urbanization.